But before you start opening up any InDesign documents that have been supplied for this course, first of all, we need to get fonts to work as smoothly as we possibly can within InDesign. So if you open up your version of InDesign, uh, on a PC, you'll need to head up to the edit menu and go down towards the bottom of the list and you will find a command called preferences. On the Mac, it's at the upper left hand side under the word InDesign, then preferences, and you're going to head to what is called file handling from the list of options. Click on that and it will open up preferences. From there on in, it's the same on the Mac and a PC. Head down to the bottom under fonts and turn on the checkbox for auto activate Adobe fonts and then click OK. The reason we've done that is because when you open up an InDesign document and it contains fonts that you don't have installed on the hard drive or the computer that you're working at, if Adobe has that font available on its online repository of over 20,000 fonts, it will automatically download and install that font. And that includes the computers you work at the university. You don't have to get permission from admin to install the font. So it's meant to make things faster. However, I will warn you that this can be a little bit slow to connect at first. So if you find that InDesign keeps telling you that you've got missing fonts, then it's worthwhile shutting InDesign down, load it back up again. Um, and if it still persists, close down the computer that you're working at, restart it, open up InDesign, open up the same InDesign document again, and it usually works. Failing that, if you head to our web browser and go to fonts.adobe.com and sign in at the top right hand side of the web page, they're using your university credentials, your email and password. And that should connect both the web browser and the library of fonts to your version of InDesign on the computer that you're working at. Now, just be aware that if you go and work on a different computer in the university, you might have to go through this process all over again. So maybe pick your spot at a computer in the university, in the press rooms, and just stick to that place. But that's my advice before we get started.